the first time you take acid, <laughs> you assume that everybody has that trip. And what you find out is that the trip someone has is dependent on set and setting. So the same is true of digital technology, which is essentially a psychedelic substrate. Now, when I wrote Siberia, what I was trying to do was to prepare society for the acid trip of digital technology. What is it going to mean when you're in a hypertext reality? What is it going to mean where any, when anything that you imagine you will be able to behold, where your hallucinations will manifest? And the people who were building uh, digital technologies at that point were Grateful Deadheads, were psychedelics people. I mean, the, the Intel and Northrop Grumman and Apple, they all understood that they needed to hire psychedelics people to build these spaces because only psychedelics people were unafraid to construct realities. Them and children, who were also pretty good at it, the, you know, the 12 and 13 year old little hackers. And just as someone can do acid in the ACDC parking lot um, and have a very different experience than you will in a, 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 an acid test or a be-in, uh, when, if we're among friends, when capitalists take digital technology, what happens is it amplifies a very particular worldview that they have and sends them on a really strange path where Jeff Bezos buys Whole Food, you know? Um, it's, it's scary. I mean, what happened was, I mean, originally in Siberia there was this merging of psychedelia and digital technology, which was attempting to retrieve really 1960s values. And that was really, really frightening to uh, business as usual. It was certainly frightening to corporate America. It was very frightening to the media industry. They found out things like the average internet connected home was watching nine hours less commercial television a week. I mean, there were all these horrifying uh, uh, possibilities that things would get out of control. And they um, recontextualized the internet uh, as something else. And Wired Magazine was really the best at doing this to say that, no, no, don't, yes, this is a revolution, but the way that they phrased the internet revolution was actually reactionary. What they did was decide that, no, don't worry, this will not change capitalism. This will reify capitalism in an entirely new, at an entirely new level. And Wired said, don't worry, we're going into a long boom of unprecedented proportion where the markets will expand infinitely forever. Thanks to this stuff. That we now have infinite surface area for marketplaces because of virtual spaces. And what they didn't really either didn't take into account or did, just didn't care about was the fact that the surface area of humanity is limited. We only have so much time. We only have so much attention. And what we started to do was, you know, rather than really, although in addition to mining the planet for resources, because as we know, digital technology externalizes a whole lot of stuff. You look at your iPhone, it looks like a nice little thing, but it's actually in that iPhone are all the children being sent into caves in Africa to get the rare earth metals for it and everything else. I mean, but they, they ended up colonizing human time and attention, which is why we're experiencing so much stress. We're now in their bad trip, if you will. I mean, you look at America. What is America going through? I mean, you guys are too. It's what happens if you take an unprepared civilization and migrate it to an essentially psychedelic substrate? You get this bizarre bad trip. You know, and then at the same time, you use 
everything that we know about the human psyche and teach kids in the captology labs at Stanford how to manipulate people, how to addict them, how to disorient them, how to, uh, how to uh, detour around the neocortex straight to the, 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 the reptilian brain and trigger uh, impulse, the most impulsive fear-based fight or flight responses and have them carry around the devices that do this 24-7, what do you think's gonna happen? Is this, right? So, you know, it's not digital technology's fault. It's not even really capitalism's fault so much as capitalism plus digital technology yields this thing that we're going through. 